Hello, and welcome to a series of videos on Rational Reporting for Development Intelligence, also known as RRDI, which is the reporting tool for the CLM product suite. This is the first part of a three-part series during which we're going over the an overview of what RRDI is and a detailed demo of how to install it. So as I had said, the goals of these videos are to provide an overview of RRDI, basically what is it, show how it integrates with CLM, and then do a complete installation demo that will span three videos, actually, that shows the complete process start to finish. We'll also be running that with CLM. They'll then run CLM reports using the money that matters data. And to do that, I have CLM RC5 already installed. OK, quick overview of RRDI. RRDI is an optional component to provide reporting for CLM. We originally released it with the previous CLM release, 301, that was in June of 2011, and that was with RRDI 102. It uses Cognos BI for reporting, and it's basically available with no additional license or cost. You just need the CLM license, and it's an optional download off of jazz.net. And it's used, or what it does, is report on data in the CLM data warehouse that the CLM products maintain. Now, a little bit uh, techy here, the layout of what RRDI looks like. You have your RTC products, your CLM products, RTC, RQM, and RRC on the left. They have an application and their own database repository. Data is extracted from those products via a web operation, namely an HTTP GET operation. So it pulls it over the web, and this is done by the uh, CLM data collection jobs that are controlled by you know, the uh, JAZZ system. That data ends up in a data warehouse, which consists of two distinct layers, the ODS, or Operational Data Store, which is a relational system that contains the detailed data about individual work items and such as that. Data is also moved into star schemas, which are pre-aggregated uh, metrics. So you can do trend reports, uh, things like that, historical reports, without going back to the original data, because a lot of the metrics there are pre-calculated. And this is what RDI reports of, off of. It contains the Cognos components, and it also has its own content store database, which is used internally by Cognos. We'll set that up, but then you never really deal with it again. So that's sort of a quick overview. Now, this what we'll be showing here today is version 2 of RDI, which is brand new. It's being released with the new CLM 4.0 versions. It contains Cognos 10.1.1, which is the current release out of Cognos. It supports both 32 and 64-bit WebSphere. Um, this is an improvement of the previous one, which was only the 32-bit WebSphere. So we've added 64-bit. Supports new platforms, uh, some later versions of Red Hat, uh, SUSE, and AIX. Uh, updated or a new database platform from Microsoft, uh, SQL Server 2008 R2, etc. And what we'll be focusing on a lot in here is a totally new install and configuration process, which is designed to greatly simplify what it takes to get the system up and running. So we'll be going through that in great detail during the demo. So the demo contents, as I said, is three parts. And we'll be starting part one now, which is to create the content store database, run the launch pad, which comes to RDI to kick off the process, and I'll also show you some of the good information that's in there. Install it, then later on in part two, we'll go through the setup and configure everything, and then do some uh, load the reports and do some demos in part three. So much for the slides. Now let's get in there and do stuff. So the first thing I need to do is create the content store database, as I had said. So I need to connect to the system I'll be doing the install on. So let me connect there, and I want to log in as my database administrator. And I want to run, I can 
as my database administrator. So let me get into DB2 here. Okay, so I've already got the data warehouse I'm going to use because that was created when I installed CLM. But I do need to create a new database for use by as the Cognos content store. And that will be called RICM. Okay, and then we can take all the defaults and just click finish. So as you can see, my database is successfully completed. So what I have to do now is set some properties in it. So let me go configure parameters. And what I need to do is change this lock timeout value to 240. And I'll also set the application heap size to 1024 or 1024. Okay, so that's done, and then for that to take effect, I've got to stop and restart the database. Okay, let me just restart it. Okay, so we're all set there, and we're done with this, and that's the operation we have to do as a DB2 admin. So I've logged out of the system as DB2 admin, so now I can connect back again as a regular user to do everything else. So let me remote desktop and connect. The next step in the process, now that we have the databases we need all set up, is to run the launch pad and so we can actually do the install. So I'm back on the system now that I'm using to do the install on. Let me bring up a Windows Explorer here and we'll run the launch pad. Okay, so this is the RDI launch pad. There's a, some introductory text. And then under installation planning, there's a lot of good information that you should read through. Uh, architectural overview with some links to the documentation in the information center, things you need to know, prerequisite information, and I'd especially like to point out this collect information prior to install page, because this is a list of really what you need to have before you get into the installation and especially the setup of RRDI. So you know about it before you're going in, and you'll see when we get into the setup phase in part two that I have a file with all this information in it. So let's go and do the install. Install and click on the install manager to start it. Okay, so you see we're going to import us right into the right place, and you see we'll be installing version 2 of Rational Reporting for Development Intelligence. And as we go through this, you'll see it's generally going to be a uh, click-through process. Okay. And here is the license agreement. So something that you should read through, but we'll and before you accept it, which I'll just accept it for now. And... Okay, verify the package group or being installed in a default place. Also, you notice here we have an architecture selection, uh, 32 or 64-bit. Installing on a 64-bit machine, but what this really deals with is the version of WebSphere um, application server that you have. I have a 64-bit WebSphere installed, so I'll leave this at 64 because it must match WebSphere. If I had a 32-bit WebSphere on a th on 64-bit hardware, I would still set this to 32. But since I have a 64-bit web here, I'm going to go with 64. Okay, take English, default language, and 
Here is the one option you get during the install, which is the Cognos samples. This is some material we supply from Cognos, useful as a learning aid, things like that. Uh, if you want it, you can get it. I'm not going to get it now. And the report server is really what you need for RDI, and you cannot deselect that. It's required. And we'll start the install and let it run. As you can see, the install has finished successfully. And the next step, which we'll be doing in the second video, is to run the setup server to actually configure the system and make it operational. Now, we have an option to start the setup server right here if we want to. But since I'm not going to be proceeding to it directly, I'm just going to change this to none because I really don't want to do that. And I'll start it manually at the, in the next video. So that's it for the install. I can just exit the install manager here. And I don't need the info set, the uh, launch pad around anymore, so I can get rid of that. So that concludes part one of the RRDI video, where we have gone through an overview of what RRDI is, and then used the launch pad and the installer to successfully install it. Thank you.